Hi, Wendy. Hi, Alexander. Hi, teacher. Good I'm, night. Good night. I'm sorry that I'm late. <laughs> I apologize. Hi, Moran. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. My goodness. We're going to be the whole year together, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Hi, Claudie. Hi, Gabby. How are you, my girl? Hi, teacher. Hey. Hi. We have a new student, Mr. Luis Alberto. How are you, sir? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. That's nice. We have a new student. That's nice. Hey, we're going to have so yeah. much fun. It's nice to have you, sir. Very good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us algo de ti. Can you hear me? Yes. Alex, yes. what do you do? ¿Qué has hecho, Alex? Creo que eh, no me oye uh, Luis Alberto. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Yeah, Welcome right. to the jungle once again. I hear you. You can hear me? Okay. Tell me about yourself. Um, I am a consulting informatic. Okay. Also as Moran. Okay. Um, um, I like, I like uh, to learn more. Good. Um, and glad to meet you. Yay, nice to meet you too. Definitely. There you go. You, you'll see that we're going to have so much fun. What? Definitely we will. <laughs> you can ask the other guys. <laughs> yes. yes. Hey, Claudita, can you please present yourself? Um, uh, tell us about yourself. Uh, um, yeah, so Luis Alberto can also meet you guys. <clears throat> Dinos algo de ti para que oh. Luis Alberto te conozca. Okay. Hi, Luis Alberto. My name is Claudia. Mm -hmm. And nice to meet you too. Very good, and, Claudita. Um, I am. Oh. That's it. Pocas palabras. Pocas palabras. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and she's a good student. <laughs> she's shy. <laughs> ella, ella es tímida. She's shy. <laughs> All right. Very yeah. good. That's yeah. good. That's good, Claudita. Well, she's not shy, Luis Albert. Had to let you know that. And right now, yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not shy, huh? Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Very good. Uh, who else? Alex. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you, sir. Hi, teacher. Hey, nice can you please? You. <laughs> hey, can you please tell us about yourself so Luis Alberto and Elgardo can also know more about you? Well, that's okay. Um, hi, my name is Alex, Alex Granados. I work in DVCESA. Um, what I'm doing, uh, I'm an accountant. Uh, I'm married and I have uh, three children. There's a little baby that we want to meet. Yes. Yeah. Me too, I have yes. three children. <laughs> hey, that's great, man. I have uh, two girls and one boy. Oh, oh my God. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> you, you two, Luis? Three boys. Uh, three boys? Three boys, yeah. Wow, wow that's nice. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have children, but I have three pets. <laughs> two boys and one girl <laughs> exactly <laughs> the opposite way very good that's nice and uh, who else moran tell us about hello. yourself sir <clears throat> go ahead hello luis uh, my name is ruben moran i work in fp confia uh, i i am informatic 
Um, I live in, in a Tuxtepeque. And where do you live, Luis? I live in Sleapango. Oh, good. Good. Namatepec. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Yes. Nice to meet you, Luis. That's nice. Alexander, come on, sir. Ya no congeló la pantalla. Yes, something happens. Okay, thank you, Alex. Come on. Alex. Sí, sí me escucha. Yes, now I can hear you. Everybody can hear you. Go ahead. I live in San Miguel. Uh, I am a marketing student mm -hmm. and I am pastor chef. That's good. Very good. Who else? Elgardo. Hi. Hi, Hi sir. Teacher. How are you? Fine. Oh. Good night. Good night. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Tell us about yourself. Well, uh, I am uh, working in air conditioning. Okay. Uh, I am a mechanical engineer. Um, I live in, in I live in Santa Ana. Okay. This is my first class in online. <laughs> Yay! And it's going to be the first one and not the last one. Okay, you're going to continue with that. Yeah, that but nice. I nervous. Why? <laughs> The I'm technology. a nice teacher. Okay. A <laughs> little. <laughs> yeah. You, you hear your conscience say something? Yes. No, I'm a nice teacher. Don't worry. Don't worry about the technology. We have two really good IT department. We have Moran. This is the first IT department. And we have Alexander, the second IT department. But I trust more the first one than the second one. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Welcome, Edgardo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice A to pleasure. meet you. Nice to meet you too. Gabby, how are you? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. What about you? Um, well, my name is Gabriela Martinez. Mm -hmm. I work at, at home. I'm married and I have a girl. And I like to study English together. Definitely. I know that. And, I, and you have to say that I'm a good teacher as well. Yes. Okay. Of course. Aha, uh -huh, you bet. So great. <laughs> uh, hopefully. All right. Nice to meet you, Gabby. And we have another Gabby here. Another beautiful girl. How are you? Um, I'm nice. Hey, tell us about yourself. Mm hmm. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, I also have here okay, Mar Martita. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'm two, three years old. I live in Sayapango. So I'm working as a teacher um, and I like it. I like learning English. <laughs> Very good. Hi, welcome back. You see, every time that Alexander is joining, something happens with the with the internet. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Thank you, Gabby. Uh, I do have Martita here. How are you, Martita? Hello, hello. I think something happens with Martita's internet. We're going to be with her later on. Uh, I have Julio here. Julio? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. My girl with the headsets. Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. Um, what's your name? I, th I think it's Julio right now, but uh, I think it's a girl right now. Uh, I I don't think she understands me, right? No? No. No? Oh, la señora guapa con headsets. Oh, you see, you see her <laughs> smile. Like, oh, she's talking about me. Yeah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. tell us about yourself. 
My name is Sandra. Oh, oh, Sandra. Okay, but it says Sandra. Julio. Is, no. is your son, by the way? It's my, it's my, it's my husband. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so tell us about your gamer talk. Go ahead. Um, I, my homework, my well, my homework is um, um, in real estate. Ah, real okay. estate. Okay, in an empresa. Uh -huh. an enterprise. Uh huh. Enterprise of real estate. Oh, that's in nice. San Salvador. Very good. And I live in San Salvador. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, Thank nice you. to have you. You're welcome. Alexia. Hello. Hello, Hello. my girl. How are you? I'm fine. Hello, everyone. I'm, I'm 24 years old. Actually, I don't work, but I want to learn more English. And only that. That's okay. Very good. Okay. And Alexander, you're hot because of the weather or because this we beautiful girl that we have here? Ah, uh, me pica el ojo. Ah, uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh -huh. No es calor, es que me pica el ojo. But he was not like this. He was like, like this? Okay, very good. Who else? Wendy, we have you here as well, Wendy. Okay, good night, teacher. Good night, and guys. girl. And my name is Wendy Carrillo. I work in at Primerica Bank. I live in San Marcos. I have one child. So <laughs> that's okay. Thank you, Wendy. Diana. Hi, teacher. How are Hi, you, everybody. my girl? I'm fine. <laughs> well, I introduce myself. Mm -hmm. My name is Diana Orellana. I work in a bank. I am a cashier mm -hmm. and don't have children, but I have a cat. It's my pet. <laughs> it counts like a children, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a children, yeah. And that's it. Very good. That's okay. <coughs> Thank you. Hey, Gabriel. Sí. Yes, sir. We listen to you. Hi, hello, how are hello, you? Teacher. Very good. I'm Thank fine. you so much for asking. Thank you, thank you. Um, about uh, yourself? Uh, okay, my name is Gabriel Armas, and I work in in Tigo. Mm -hmm. uh, my 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 job is coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, I have two children, and I'm ready for start new class english new english class yeah new english class hopefully yeah. you're ready and we have mr mm -hmm. wiston dos cruises i don't know who's him or mauricio velasquez who's mauricio by the way no no idea okay mauricio how are you hi Hi. Can you listen to me? Yes, we can. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, sir. My name is Mauricio Velasquez. Mm -hmm. I'm working Tigo. I am sales chief. I have two children, uh, boys. Thanks God for that, boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> girl, we are girls and we are beautiful. Come on. <laughs> Uh, uh, nice to meet you, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy because uh, I wanna. Uh, uh, I, I like to speak English. You like to speak English? Yes. Thank yes. you so much. That's what I wanna hear. Thanks, everybody. Hey, thank you for joining the class, and also thank you all of you guys uh, to show your commitment. Because I know that for some of you has been the first time as Edgardo, for example, and Liz Alberto, and also Alexia, right? It's the first time, but maybe you are tired. Maybe it was a hard day for some of you, but you are here. And that's, I'm, I'm happy every time that I see you. I'm so happy because that shows your commitment. You're willing to learn. And also <clears throat> that you love to see me. As I love to see you. Uh -huh. Today, guys, 
Uh, well, for the new ones, I have to let you know that I'm a really nice teacher, but a really tough teacher as well. Okay, that means that you're going to, uh, you need to work hard with me. Uh, you, please do the exercise of the platform. Um, also watch the videos before the, uh, each class. So you gotta be prepared and know what will be the topic for every class, okay? Be on the same, in the same page, if we can see that. Um, I will try to speak slowly, okay. but if you think that I'm speaking a little bit faster, or you do not understand what I said, I can just slow down, repeat it, and if you said, teacher, definitely, I do not understand, I can uh, help you in a Spanish way, okay? But we are in pre-intermediate model three. That means that we need to speak more English than Spanish. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, right, Claudi? Yes, especially <laughs> grammar. Claudi loves grammar. You cannot imagine how, how she loves grammar. <laughs> now, you're going to love grammar with me, right, Claudi? You love it more right now. That is the first time but if you double check for example guys when you start learning english and that this way and now do you do you think you have improved a little bit yes yes yes, yes. yes. or yes. no yes. Yes. yes for me yes yes, yes. what about you moran yes ah you say yes because everybody say yes <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, sincerely, uh, sincerely, sir, what do you think? Uh, do you think you have improved? Repeat the question, please. Do you think you have improved your English in the first class until now? I don't understand. Uh, you don't understand, uh, you see? Okay. Do you remember the first class? The first class here by video, do you remember? The actually course or? Yes, the actual course. Uh, no, no. No, okay, but it, at the beginning of the classes, uh, you felt confident in speaking? Or also a little bit about English knowledge? Maybe not, but how do you feel now? Do you feel more comfortable that you can speak a little bit more English? I think he doesn't understand, right? Do you understand what I'm talking about, Moran? So, so. Okay. So, so. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Would you like me to say it in Spanish? Please. Okay, cool. You see? That is one of the examples of what I'm telling you. Okay. Cuando usted empezó las clases, uh -huh. ¿cómo se sentía? Eh, happy. Happy. Yes. Pero se sentía confiado en hablar? No, 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 no. No, yo te diré. <laughs> right? Okay, okay, cool. ¿Cómo se siente hoy? Mm. Te sienten, no dice que, que, wow, yo soy así nativo. No, todavía no. We're in the process. We're in the process. Pero se siente más confiado hoy? Yes, between oh. one and ten. Uh, five. 5.5. Okay. Yes. yes, that's why you are pre intermedia Yeah? Okay. In intermedia two, it's going to be seven. I promise. See? Okay. Okay. Yes, but okay. you see? Yes. You feel more comfortable. Okay? That's the purpose, okay? And guys, please speak. Don't be don't feel nervous. Don't feel shame. Don't worry. Don't feel uh worry about probably making mistakes. You will do it. But that is part of the process. Okay? That is a part of the process of learning. Okay, so don't worry if you make mistakes. If you use wrong one verb, or if you use, for example, the verb to be when supposed to use the, in the past, for example, when we're supposed to use did, or you switch it off, 
don't worry about it. But try, guys, to speak not with a sophisticated language, no. Try to explain yourself with the language or with the vocabulary that you know, okay? okay. Yes. During okay. the process, of course, you're going to increase your vocabulary because we're going to practice reading and speaking, writing and speaking, speaking, that's what we're doing right now, right? Yeah. Reading, yeah. etc. So definitely you will increase your vocabulary, okay? And that'll be really nice. And then you will be able to also continue speaking, but with new words that you have learned, okay? So that is, that is one of my advice for you. I speak with the, with the vocabulary that you know. Okay? Okay. Is that good? Okay. Okay, cool. cool. Okay. Guys, let's the party start. Or welcome to the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> that is Guns N' Roses, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> right? 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 Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, it is, you know? Okay, yeah. We're on the same page, guys. Okay, cool. So, Today, guys, we're going to start developing one of the skills that is really hard for most of you, which is going to be the listening, right? You say like, oh my God, what did you say? Yes, the listening part. And basically, guys, I just want you to pay attention to the listening. I'm going to be nice. In the first week, I'm going to play the listening part three times, okay? On the second week, I'm going to play the listening parts two times. And on the last two weeks, it's going to be only one time. Okay. Why? Because we need to develop the listening skills. Okay? Mm -hmm. And there are some exams, guys, that they do not give you like extra times to listen and listen and again. No, you listen. Good. If you do not listen, sorry. So we need to like develop the skill, okay? So that's why I'm going to be a little bit tough, but for some reason, okay? So let me search right now for my file, and we're going to start. And then I'm going to ask you um, if you understood something about the listening part. And also, we're going to help you and to let you know what will be the, today's topic, okay? Cool. Okay, guys, so let the blood flow. No, I'm just kidding. As allow me just a couple of minutes when I open my screen so I can share right now the, the listening part with right now with you. But any chance, I don't know, guys, if for some of you have checked the platform and you have like an idea what will be the topic for today? No. No? Come on, why not? Um, tell me why not. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We are waiting for your information. I were waiting for your information. Come on. I, I am starting I star in the platform. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. For, so yes. for some of you, yes. Okay, yes, no problem. But for the oldest one, that is not like excuse. Don't worry. I will let you know as soon as I'm, I'm ready right now. But I have to let you know, guys, that I would need that you check the platform every single time before a classes. So you will have like an idea what will be the, the topic for each class, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, cool. Let me just one moment when I, yes, there you go. Platform, I uh, learned about the adjective. Yay, definitely that's what it is. But, but today's guys, we're going to learn adverbs before adjectives. Okay. Okay. That is, I am. Exactly. Tell me guys, before we start the listening part, a, what is an adjective for you? How do you describe an adjective? Or when do we use it? 
Description at the person, at the animals, at the things. Okay, exactly. Description. You said person, animal, things. What are they? In grammar, how do we call that? Person, animal, things. Do we? Person. Th those are verbs. Nouns. 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 Very nouns. good, Moran. Exactly. So adjective describes nouns. Yes. Remember that in Spanish, a adjective goes after the nouns, right? Yeah. But in English, remember that it's like the opposite way. Before. Exactly. However, right now, we're going to learn the adverbs before adjectives to emphasize the meaning of an adjective. For example, I can say, my brother is taller, right? Taller is an adjective. That means that he's not short. Mm -hmm. His height is a little bit like more than normal, right? Yeah. But if I said, my brother is very tall. Emphasis. That, exact, that emphasizes. Very will be an adverb and tall will be the adjective. Do you see? How do yeah. we use it? Ever emphasize or give more power to adjectives. And that's what we're going to see right now. But basically, we're going to listen to a conversation, okay? And then we're going to focus on each of the adverbs and adjectives, okay? We're going to see a more uh, slowly way, okay? Are you guys ready? Yes, I know that. Yes. Yes. Yes, Moran, please say yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, very good, sir. All righty. Let me know as soon as you're able to see my screen, yes? Yes. Okay, yes. and also let me know yes. if you yes. can listen to that. Okay, we're going to talk about, guys, an, ex an exciting place, and I want you to pay attention of the, the ways the people describe the, the area, the place, okay? because we're going to focus then on the adverbs and the adjectives. Okay, so go ahead. Welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, cool. One more time. Please. Yes, please. please. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to play it one more time. I told you that will be three, right? Yes. Okay, yes, please. Okay, okay. Four times. Four times? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. At least three. Okay. That's all. Come on. <laughs> Four times. That's not no more possible. than that. <laughs> no, 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 no. No more than that. <laughs> Uh-huh, you like it. Mm-hmm. No way. <laughs> ash, ash, ash. All righty, very good. Let me double check really quickly here. Do, 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 do. There you go. That's what I want. Okay, yes, you're the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the greatest. The greatest. Uh-huh. <laughs> All righty, let me share it once again. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay, once again. Hi, welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, 
and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. All righty. One more time, or you're okay. I'm fine. You're fine. Yeah. Fine. Cloudy. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I know that you're a really smart guy. <laughs> so it's not necessary to play it one more time. All right, very good. Okay, guys, can, can somebody tell me what is the um, uh, dialogue about? I only see two verbs. Mm -hmm. Early and very. Okay, that's good. It's talking about uh, Puerto mm -hmm. Rico. Puerto Rico, exactly, San Juan Puerto Rico. Do you remember what which part is that characteristics for San Juan Puerto Rico? How how she described someone? It's the not very good. expensive. Okay, what else? The weather is good. The weather is good. Okay, cool. There are uh, beaches, fantastic beaches. Okay, excellent. Near near to city. Which mm -hmm. is near to city. Very it's good. a beautiful country. Oh, yes, definitely. Do yeah, they want to go sometime? Oh, yes. Puerto Rico? Yes, 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 definitely. Yes. yes. I want to go to Puerto Rico. To finish this course. Okay. To finish this course? See. Si. That would be Puerto nice. Rico. Okay. Everybody can go. Everybody can go. Yes. To the ending yes. quarantine. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yes. If, if, if I'm able to travel, definitely I can. I can give you classes from there. That would be not a problem for me. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. With a coconut, right? With a cocktail, right? The last class in Puerto Rico. The last class in Puerto Rico. That would be amazing. <laughs> if we are able to travel, Mauricio, that would be nice. Definitely. Okay, guys. Very good. Very good. So, guys. Um, this is really important and I want to show you something then we're, go we're going to go back with the dialogue because definitely we're going to practice okay we're going to practice the speaking today yeah. okay that okay. will be yes we need to practice the speaking but let me show you something right now because I want to share that with you right now there you go. okay can you see it guys Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Basically, I took this part uh, because I want you to focus on something. Okay. Do you see right now here, guys? Uh, adverbs before adjectives. This one, really, really. This is an adverb. Adverbs. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And this one is the adjective. Nice. Okay? Yes. Okay. Then we have also, guys, this one. We also have fairly, right? This is another ad, uh, adverb. We do have very. very. Mm -hmm. We have two. We have really. We have fairly. Mm -hmm. All right? And also All we right. have very. Yeah. Okay. Very. Exactly. Those, the one that I, that I line-eyed or highlighted in a blue color, those are the adverbs. And the one that we have in red color, we do have, it is, uh, they call adjectives. Because I, as you said, adjective describes the noun. Nose. Exactly, exactly, very good. Mm -hmm. If you can see guys, uh, for example, let's talk, focus on the structure. First, we have the pronoun, in this case, Let's double check the first um, sentence. San Juan Puerto Rico is really nice. Look at San Juan Puerto Rico is a place, right? It's a noun, yeah. it's a thing. So that one goes first. After that, if you are, if you are able to see guys, we have here the verb to be. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then we have the adverb, which in this case is really. And finally, we will have the adjectives. Adverb, adjectives. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. 
Why, guys, the adverb, it is between the adjective and the verb? Do you remember, as, as, you, were, as you were saying at the beginning of the class, adjective describes a noun, right? Mm -hmm. An adverb describes the verb. Do you remember that in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but if we want to use it, both of them in a sentence, this is going to be the structure. Exactly. We have the subject, right? Plus, we have the verb to be. Okay. Teacher, you're fabulous. Yes. Then, yes, we do have the adverb, you see. And finally, guys, we do have the adjective, okay? That is going to be the structure, guys. Isn't lovely? That's, that's nice, right? Graffiti. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> All righty. So that will be the structure, guys. Subject plus verb to be, plus adverb, plus adjective. Look at the second, uh, the second um, sentence. Um, Alexia, can you read it for me? The second sentence. What it says? It's fairly. Um, it's really nice city. No, 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 the, no, the right side, the left the side, left, left, the left side. side. It's fairly big. Exactly. This one. This one, Alexia. Uh, can you repeat again, please? More you... slowly. Ah, okay, okay. I have okay. problems with the sound. I with the sound. Understand. Okay, cool. Can you read for me this second sentence in the left column? The second sentence? sentence. Yes, in the left column, this one. Okay. Can you read it for me? Yes, I. It is. Is it's hardly big? Very good. I don't, sorry, I don't see you. Very good. No, but that's okay. You you read it really good. It's fairly big. Very good, guys, and very good pronunciation, Alexia. Because you and see here that we have um subject and verb to be, but in a contractual way, right, guys? Yes. Exactly. So as I said, guys, um, to my privileged students and all, only you right now, if you double check there is a contraction way, you got to pronounce it in a contractual way. Okay? It's, of course, it's a contraction way of it is, right? Yes. Okay. But some guys <laughs> says it is fairly big. No. Here it doesn't say it is. It says it's. It apostrophe S. So if you if you see that there is a something writing in a contraction way, you it's, need to pronounce it in a contraction way. Okay. So so very good job, Alexia. Thanks. Okay. It's and you see, guys, it follows the same structure. It is the subject, right? Apostrophe S is the verb to be. Okay. Fairly <laughs> Albert. And big, we had the adjective. You see? And for example, guys, if you would like, and also, you can also express a negative way also on that. Take a look at the third example. Uh, Luis Alberto, could you please be so kind to read it for me? Uh, repeat, please. Can you read for me this one? The yeah. third one, please? Yeah. It is not very expensive. Very good job. If you see, guys, this is a, sen a sentence affirmative or negative way? Affirmative. Uh, negative. Negative. Why is negative? Not. Not. Exactly. Not. Exactly. Because we have here the particularly not. Okay? Okay, guys, so just pay attention. If you would like, for example, to make the sentence in a negative way, all that you gotta do is follow the structure that we have seen right now, but take a look, guys. 
not will be between uh, verb to be and the adverb. Okay? This is really important. So it's going to be like that, guys. <clears throat> Subject, right? Oops. Okay. So it doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be subject, verb to be, not, not, adverb, and adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Exactly. That is in a negative way. The only difference will be, guys, that you're going to add the particularly not. But you gotta know where you're going to put it. In this case, not will be between the verb to be and the adverb. Okay? okay? Okay. It is not very expensive. And also, guys, you can also use not in a contraction way. So you can say it isn't very expensive. Okay? okay? You can do that as well. Let me go back and I will share right now my screen. So you Teacher, I have. Yes, go ahead. Uh, this structure is only with verb to be, or is in any verb we can use this structure? Is no, is in any verb. Okay, thank you. But most of the times, uh, when we're talking about adverbs before additives, we use the verb to be. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. thank you. Exactly. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. So, for example, uh, can you see what I'm writing right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, guys, the formula for a negative way will be subject plus verb to be plus not plus adverb plus adjective. Okay. Can you see it? And yeah. we have an example. You see, for example, take a look at the third sentence that we're going to do. Okay. It's, yes, sir. Are you use words? Excuse me? Or are, are you use word or not? But yes. I, 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 you cannot we see it. don't, we don't uh, see. Okay, that's what I ask you. And you say yes. Uh huh. Okay, thank you so much, Moran. You see, okay. that's why you are my. Ah, uh, yes. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are my TV department. Okay, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a different color, right? So you will be able to distinguish. Okay. Yes. There you go. Let me choose another color here. Do, 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 do. Let me put it here, this one. Yes. Let me put this one. I'm going to use this. Also, a different color. So you can like distinguish, right? Each of them. In that way. There you go. Do, 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 do. Uh, yes, this one. Okay. So let's take a look at the third sentence that we're talking about. It's not very expensive. Okay. Who said that? Uh -huh. Okay, guys. I just want you to pay attention to this particular one. And let me change also the color of the words. So you will have, you will know which part of the sentence it is. Okay, cool. What happened here? This is really cute. This is different right now. Okay, cool. Okay, guys. So can you see it? We have, right? Subject. We got verb to be is a contraction way. Yes. We got not. We got very as an adverb. And we have also expensive as an adjective. Is that correct? No. Can you see it, guys? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. cool. Okay. So you see, follow the structures. Oh, 
tell me something. Any questions so far? No. no. Okay. Okay, cool. Take a look, guys, at this particular sentence. Let me go back. Can you see, can you read for me? Um, Alex, I oh, know Alex is not there. Uh, Martita, can you read for me the last question? The last sentence, sorry. Martita did not listen. Okay, uh, Luis, Luis. Okay. Can you please read for me the last one? Okay, it is too noise and it is too crowded for me. You, okay, Luis, very good, but you said it is, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, okay, it's, do it it's, again, it's, please. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. the teacher have a good listening, go ahead. <laughs> it's too noise and it's too crowded for me. Very good, that's what I love. Very good, excellent. So you see, it's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Okay, guys, this is, yes. What is, what is the meaning of the crowded? Have you gone to a, to a stadium in Cuscatlan when, the, um, um, when Alianza and Firpo play together? <laughs> yes, there are only three people, right? Or oh, there are a lot of people there. A lot of people. A lot of people. So that is crowded. When there is a lot of people that you cannot move. Can feel. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like if you go to the Mercado Central here in El Salvador, yeah. but it's really hard for you to move because everybody's there like pushing you back and forward. Ruidos. That is crowded. That is yeah. crowded. And Not noisy, real. and noisy is what Martita said. Noisy like ah! that is noisy. Ruidos. Exactly. That is noisy. So this one, noisy, ah, we don't so. And crowded a lot of people. Like in the study of Cuscatlan when Firpo and Alianza play together. Noisy and um, Exactly, exactly. That is crowded. So guys, tell me something. Let me ask you. This sentence, it is too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Is it positive or is it negative? Positive. Positive. Are you positive. Sure? positive. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Um, no, no, take a look. Negative. Negative. It's negative. It's negative. The sentence. The sentence is affirmative. The sentence is affirmative. Exactly, Gabriel. But is but the meaning is yeah. negative for me. Negative. Exactly. Okay. So this is what I want you to focus, guys. We use two. This one two. Is most of the time. Nice with a sentence, with a negative sentence. For example, let me show you an example here that I do have. And let me go here, let me move a little bit. Let me give you an example. When do, to use two. Okay, woohoo, let me move it. I'm going to go with Barry. Okay, take a look at this one. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 okay, cool. Okay, take a look. We use two with negative adjectives for example uh, mauricio can you please read for me the sentence when when the when is the heart this dress, this dress is too big for me exactly okay girls for example we go shopping vamos de compras we go shopping right e, uh, claudia le dice uh, gabby hey this dress is nice e gabby dice no this dress is too big for me. Este vestido es muy grande para mí. ¿Qué significa? The dress won't fit me. El, el, el vestido no me queda. No me va a quedar. Porque es muy grande. Right? right. Entonces, yes. we use too big, too big for me para algo negativo. ¿Sí? ¿Entiende? Mm -hmm. O sea, que viene siendo como una afirmación para el... Para algo negativo. Exactly, Alexander. Very good job. Exactly. It's not necessary using mm -hmm. not. Uh -huh. It's not necessary. It's, it's, if you see, it's an, it's an affirmative sentence, but with a negative meaning. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. No, okay. Uh, Gabby, can you give me an example? Yeah, <laughs> can you give me an example with two, Gabby? 
Can you come up with an idea? Which Gabby? <laughs> eh, Gabby Martinez. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, um, this um, city is too. Um, contaminada. Poison. Oh, it's too polluted for me. Pol polluted. 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 Okay. But, but the poison is like that you're going to pass away. <laughs> Usually you yes. put it in, a, in something that you eat, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Oh, oh, let me give another example, guys. This place is beautiful, but it's too hot for me. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, Luis, can you come up with another example with two? Yeah, uh, this, this shoes is, is, is nice, but it's too big for me. Exactly, these shoes are nice. But they are re they are too big for me. Very good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are too big. Exactly. Very good. Uh, any other example, Alex? With two. Uh, uh, this computer is too beautiful, but it's too expensive to me. Very good. I thought he's going to use a girl. You can say this girl is too uh, is beautiful, but it's too <laughs> tall for me. Uh, sorry, but I love it. Sorry, but I love the the, the computer. <laughs> I know, I know. I was I was teasing you. I'm teasing you. Yes. <laughs> All righty, very good. So you you see the difference, right? You understand the difference right now with two? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, and let me let me make a quick review about Barry. Uh, this is an example that I'm going to play with you. For example, here, guys, if you see, we're going to use Barry on the first one. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. It's going, you can say it like this one, or guys, um, for example, you can also say the same thing, but you don't use the, the adverb very. But do you think that will mean the same? Creen que significaría lo mismo? Two and very. No, for example, I can no. say her car, is expensive. Yes. But it's different if I said her car is very expensive. Do you think yeah. it's the same? It's different. Is it different? Why is different? Why? Uh-huh. And and the second one? It's very. Expensive. It's very. Okay, if you said, for example, the car is expensive, oh, okay, it's expensive, but it's still you can you can afford, right? Lo puedes adquirir. But if you said her car is very expensive, that means that there is a lot of money and not many people can have that car, right? Right. Yes. Uh -huh. like question. Exactly. We can use that for the Honda and BMW. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So you see, guys, that if we if we add an adverb before an adjective, it changes the meaning. Yes. Cambia el, el yes. significado. El significado. Cambia. Si o no le da más énfasis. Emphasis. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Okay, okay, guys. Can I have another example with Barry? Uh, Mauricio. Yes. Okay. Uh, Puedes usar cualquier sujeto. Any any subject. My girlfriend is very very beautiful. Oh. Um, okay. Your girlfriend is very beautiful. Yes. But. but. Oh. Really. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Aha. <laughs> That's true, right? <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, si ustedes se fijan, <laughs> yes. No es lo I mismo que it. diga my girlfriend, right? My girlfriend beautiful. is beautiful. Okay. 
And the first one, guys, he used the other, if you can see it. But in the second one, no. Here we have very beautiful, right? Right. Okay, Shihika said, my girlfriend is beautiful. Okay, that's a regular Salvadorian beautiful girl. But he said, my girlfriend is very beautiful. That means, you know what? I do have a hot, sexy mama. <laughs> right? right? Exactly. She, she's very beautiful. So you see, guys? He emphasizes yeah. that. So yeah. that's, that's the difference. Okay, guys. Let me show you the last thing that I want to show you right now. It's basically um, a list of another um, adverbs that you can use. From the very best one until the last one. For example, you have extremely, that is like the top of the top. Very, this is what we have seen. Really? Pretty? Fairly? Friendly. It's like equanimity, right? Yeah. And somewhat. somewhat. Okay? Yes. From the most important to the least one. Okay? So this is what I'm going to uh, ask you about. It's going to be your homework for tomorrow. Hi, teacher. Yes. <laughs> I just want... Day, uh, no, no, no. That's why the first day. We need to start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want, guys, one sentence. I'm going to ask you which each of them. However, I'm going to... I'm not going to be bad, Alex. I'm going to ask you only three sentences. Okay? Okay. I'm going to ask you three sentences. One with extremely, one with very, and one with pretty. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going to be nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Okay. And as I said, we're going sure. to practice next, the... Next. Extremely. Extremely, very, and... And pretty. Pretty. Yes. Thanks. You're more than welcome. Please. Extremely, very, and pretty. Extremely. Very and pretty. Very. Pretty. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> yes, like pretty woman walking down the street. That one. Ah, oh, you see the teacher. You have a teacher that can sing as well. Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, Three sentences. Yeah. Okay, yes, three sentences. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, do you remember that okay. we're going to... Yes, go ahead, listen to you. Fair, to fair, uh, extremely. Extremely. Mm -hmm. Then we have very, and then pretty. I'm going to send it to you on the WhatsApp, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, do you remember that we're going to practice that dialogue? Uh, the teacher forgot. Come on, no way. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Okay, who are going to be the victims? I'm sorry, the participants. Uh uh, okay. Let the blood flood. No. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Who wants to be the, uh, the participant? Cloudy. Yes, please. Cloudy, are you serious? <laughs> okay, okay, so, and. Good night. And who, and who else? Me? Mr. Alexander. Or no, Alex. Yes, please. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. So why you are so participative right now? <laughs> okay. Okay. Because <clears throat> okay. it's the first day. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. You can see these guys at the end of the course. Mm -hmm. They don't want to participate. <laughs> no way. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. One, two, three, action. Go ahead, Eric. So where are you from, Carmen? I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. It is expensive there. No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? 
It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Very good, excellent. Just guys, watch out with the intonation of the questions, right? And yes. if you have a contractual way, please pronounce it a contractual way. Like, okay. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. That's okay. a really nice city, yeah? Okay. okay. Uh -huh. It's okay, not it very is. expensive. Okay, guys, could you please identify some of the adverbs that we have seen in today's class, please? Okay. Really? 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 Very good. What else? Fairly. Fairly. What else? Very. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Really? Pretty. Yeah, pretty. Okay. Two. Very two. two. Very good. Okay, very good. Not two. 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 Because it's double O, right? The pronunciation is a little bit longer. Two. Two, two. bit. Okay. Two. Very good. Excellent. Two. Okay, one more pair. Thank you, Edgardo. And who else? Gabby. Gabby Martinez. Which one? Gabby Martinez. Okay. Okay, Edgardo, you want to start? Go ahead, sir. Teacher, teacher, excuse me, my audio is very bad today. Okay. Okay, tomorrow, okay? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Okay. The sale, but... Okay, don't worry. Okay, Luis, go ahead. So, where are, where are you from, uh, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that it's really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Pri prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan to a trip there sometime. Very good, very good. Good job. Good job, like, but so more enthusiastic, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Try to put into the character. Okay, very good job. Okay, just the pronunciation of this one is pretty reasonable. 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 And guys, be careful with this word. Some fantastic dishes. Dishes. <laughs> Vicious. Okay, vicious. Because vicious. The, you see, it's a C H. So it's sh, sh, vicious. Okay, okay. Vicious. Because if you do not pronounce this word good, you can say it in English a bad word. Okay, so it's very important that you pronounce it correct. Okay. Okay. So the final song. The, exactly. There are some fantastic vicious. Shh. It needs to hear that shh sound, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, you know what? I know that you love me, guys. And I love you too. And it's our first class together. But guess what? Time is over? Yeah. Yes, I know. Okay, yeah. guys, so you know where we're going to start tomorrow, right? Okay. Right. So I do really appreciate that you... Um, get into this class today. I'm so happy that I have my babies as well, my old babies, but I do have a new babies. That's, hey guys, that's what I call my students, my babies, okay. my English babies, okay? Okay. So I'm a big mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, alrighty, but I'm, do, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you, and I'm happy also that I, I have all of you. So please guys study. Hopefully I can see you tomorrow. And as I said, if you have some questions, some difficulties because of your job, because of your health, or for any reason that happens, please send me a message, right? Through the WhatsApp group. And okay. I will know, okay? okay? But please also watch the video because it's really important, okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. guys, okay. so hugs. Thank you, sis. 
and see you tomorrow, okay? Thanks. Have a yeah, lovely night. Good night. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Take care. Take care. Thanks.